Hello and welcome to your ASCAL briefing for Friday the 19th of May. Uh, the more eagle-eyed or eared amongst you might have noticed that Jeff Barton's looking a little bit different today. Um, Jeff's not able to do the video uh, today so I'm stepping in to do my very best to fill his shoes. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie McCulloch, I'm Director of Policy here at ASCAL. So in true Jeff style, I'm going to talk to you about three things today. Uh, I'm going to talk about where we are with our impending industrial action. I'm going to talk about a lobby of Parliament that we're planning and that we'd really like members to get involved with. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about those key stage two tests that we know are causing concern for a lot of our members and a lot of children and families. So let's start with the industrial action. Um, as we mentioned on Tuesday, we've now got two of the unions who've launched their, their formal ballot for industrial action. That's the NEU and the NAHT. Uh, we're expecting the NASUWT to follow suit on the 5th of June. Here at ASCAL, we are working with our legal advisors and with our independent scrutineer to put everything in place to launch our own ballot, which we expect to happen at the beginning of June. It's a huge amount of work. The team are working really hard in the background to get that ready to go so that we can get that out as soon as we can. Um, as you know, there's very stringent legislation around uh, industrial action. What that means is that we have to carry it out by a postal vote. We can't do it in any other way. So if you are eligible to, to vote in the ballot, please do check your membership details, um, make sure they're correct, and we'll get those ballots out to you shortly. As you know, this isn't where any of us want to be. We are still very keen to, to reopen discussions and negotiations with the Department for Education. At the moment, there's no sign of that happening, but we are continuing to push for that. We really hope that we might see some movement there that would mean industrial action isn't necessary. At the moment, though, we're not seeing that. One of the things we're doing to, to try to raise awareness of why we're finding ourselves in this position is along with uh, the other education unions, we are planning a, a lobby of parliament. So that's with NEHT, NEU and Unison. Uh, we're all joining forces to, to call a lobby of parliament on Tuesday the, the 20th of June. And what we want to do there is to highlight and seek to resolve the, the crisis in education that's caused by lack of funding, teacher shortages, punitive accountability, all of that stuff that you know only too well. What that's going to involve is members of all of those unions coming together to meet with your constituency MPs to make the case for education. We think this is a really good opportunity for you to, to set out to, to your MP the impact on your school and college of what's happening at the moment and what you think needs to happen to address those issues. So there's more information on that lobby in the email version of this message. Please do have a look at that. And if you can join us on that date, we would love to have as many members as possible from across, across the country to make that case. And then finally, the key stage two tests. Thank you very much to the many uh, primary ASCAL members who've been getting in touch with us to, to share your concerns, particularly about the reading test. Um, We've now all had a chance to look at that. It was published earlier this week and you know, certainly looking at it, it looks really challenging, doesn't it? Some of those, those texts are, are really quite difficult. We have been having many conversations. So Tiffany Harris, who's our primary specialist in particular, has been in pretty much constant meetings with the Standards and Testing Agency this week to, to point out to, to the SDA all of those messages that we're hearing from you and to, to find out you know, what the next steps on all of this are. We know that this week the schools minister has committed to a review of that paper in particular. So thank you for your messages. It's been really helpful in, in enabling us to explain to the department what your concerns are. We will continue to tell you what we hear back from them. So hopefully we'll have more to say on that before too long. Uh, there's much more in our email version of this message today. Please do have a look at that. Uh, please do get back to us as ever with anything that you think we ought to know about that you'd like us to be saying on your behalf. You know the drill by now, but the email address is tellus at askel.org.uk. Anything you think we need to know, please use that email address to tell us. It's incredibly helpful. 
that's it from me today. I hope you get a bit of sunshine this weekend. It looks like we might all have some lovely weather, a little bit of downtime, and we will regroup again next week.